things are slowly getting back on track at Darby County. Hopefully we can keep it that way in today's episode. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. As I said in the intro, things are starting to pick up a little bit. We're looking a little bit better on the offensive. And I'm here for it. I'm, I'm, I think... I think we're finally starting to figure some stuff out. As you can see, sitting at where we're at right now, we're fourth in the Premier League, three points off of Bournemouth. We do have a match in hand against the teams above us, so that is good news. Sitting first in our Champions League group stage, even though we are going up against Real Madrid today, that is going to be a tough matchup. I, I, I don't know what to expect from it yet. We've really got to be firing on all cylinders to win that match. Looking at where we last left off, we played Norwich in our last match, the one we drew against 3-3. Three to three. That was a little bit of a disappointing match. We should have won that one, but uh, we, we gave it away there at the end. So, oh well. Played it friendly after that. Then we had an Aston Villa game where Christian getting a brace and Morello getting a goal as well. Real Madrid, we won the first match against them. Played a very slow-paced game. Christian also getting in in that match, being the lone goal scorer. Everton, we beat 3-1 to one with Vlasic getting a brace and Morello getting a goal as well. And then we uh, we went up against... Man City in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. And I felt like both of the teams really played a uh, rotated side. It went to penalties, and unfortunately we lost. Tammy Abraham missed the first one, so we are out of the Carabao Cup. Not a big loss, though, because the board is not really – they don't really care. Not important to them, and um, we've already won the Carabao Cup once. So I'm not as worried about it. We wanted to play some of the other players that hadn't got a lot of match time, like Marcella um, – or Masala, I'm sorry. Masala, Jose Maria got in there. Ferris played as well. Yasin played. Uh, Danny Kenny came on the pitch on the left-hand side, taking the place of uh, Aaron Morton in that match. And I kind of want to give him a little bit of game time just so he can um, he can kind of learn that position a little bit better because he's, he's a very odd player. He can play on the left wing, but he plays as a right wing back. I want him to play as a left wing back. So we're training him there. And when he actually gets in matches, we are going to play him there. Because uh, as a third choice, I'm, I'm not really disappointed in having a player like that. I do want to discuss some stuff, though. Juan Basaka is wanted by a team, and I can't remember who it is. Was it Everton? Wanted by Everton. The transfer window is about two months away right now. If they make a bid for him, I'll probably take it. Because at that point, Masala can make the jump up, be our backup right back. And then we have one of the young uh, homegrown players. I think it's William Kelly, the right back option. Uh, he's more of a, he's a really a defensive player. He's not, he's not a very going forward wing back. But as a third choice, I'm okay with that. I mean, I, I know he's not, as, he's not as good as Juan Basaka, but we don't need three great wing backs I don't feel like I feel like we can have two and then the one uh the third choice kind of be one of these kind of players that uh is homegrown by club and that will open the door up for some other positions that we need to feel if we do get rid of Juan Basaka because he's still 64 million he's still valued at 64 million we purchased him for 60 million a couple years ago he has never really uh worked out for us unfortunately uh the first season injuries got him Second season, injuries got him. And then last season, got replaced. So it, it hadn't been great for him. It hasn't. But he's in the lineup today. I haven't picked a team yet. I don't think I actually have picked a team against this Chelsea. Have I? I kind of have. I kind of have. I hadn't took out some of them. Uh, we're going to just do a little bit of a quick pick. Get back into our formation that we kind of want. Uh, Yasin on the pitch. Sar is back healthy now, finally, so that is good news. We got, got another wing player, which I am here for. The lap, uh, they're, they're a little bit upset with us. They want him to play more matches. So he's going to be on the bench today. Probably will come in at some point. I don't know at what time, but I think this is what we're going to roll with for this match. I don't see a change. On, I don't see like a player that I want to take out. I really don't. So uh, we got Cam Wingo back four of Lucas, Tosin, Morello, and Davies in the middle. We got the hit what in hell is blazes get up. who picked this team 
Jan's in the midfield alongside Garza. Right hand side we got Christian. In the middle Valdez. Left hand side we got Abraham. And up top, Baja. Baja needs to pick up the pace. I, I want him to be a really good striker for us. We obviously chose him over Tammy Abraham and Tabby. Tammy Tabby. Tammy has moved over to the left hand side as we've seen a lot this season. Uh, it kind of started happening last season actually. Not up for me to say. Not not up for me to say. You have questions about Darby County, we'll answer those questions. Other than that, no questions. My dogs are in here with me. So um, you may hear them. I apologize. Odin and Ohana. Probably should not say their names, otherwise they're gonna jump up and come running at me. I did see uh before it went to this highlight, there was somebody this Valdez. Valdez is heard already. Nice. Okay, okay, this is not the start we wanted. Did not want our one of our best players to be hurt right off the bat. And I, I will take him off early because, like, as early as it is for him to get hurt, I don't want him to uh, risk it out there on the pitch and get even more banged up. After this highlight, he will be coming off. And uh, I know we don't have Harvey Ferris on the bench. I think Vlasic is there. Baja. Valdez gets a goal before he comes off. Second goal of the season for him. Christian is on the assist. It is 1-0. Hey, don't be doing that stuff. You hurt, my dude. Settle down out there. Goodness. I've noticed that Baja, this run right here happens a lot with Baja, where he's just a tad too late for get, you know, for getting it. Um, but he usually saves it. Okay, we're going to keep an eye on Val. What? Okay, he's got some knee ligaments. Yeah, we're making the change. I'm not. I'm not risking it. I'm not doing it. Plastic's coming on the pitch. It's not worth it. It's not. Uh, we're now equal on points with Bournemouth. That is good. Bournemouth is having a really good season this year. Sitting third right now. Wow. I am I am a bit shocked by that. I would not be upset if this is the final score of this match. Not at all. I would be totally fine with that with how we've kind of we've kind of been a uh, I wouldn't say like we've really struggled, but we certainly have not been the best like we was last year. Last year we got on a, tr a tremendous run and um carried it through the whole season. This this time we've been like there's matches where I'm like, okay, hey, we've got something here. And then there's matches where it's just like, oh, okay, we're not we're not there yet. Second half, getting it underway now. Uh, I am noticing some fitness we've got with Jan right now. Baja, I do want to take off for the lap just to just to please the manager at Man City. I'm not even sure who it is anymore. I've seen him, but I, I don't remember. Hopefully we can get a stop here. I don't like how this is going. No, no, no. 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 Don't don't not like this game. Not like this. Not Mason Mount. Okay. You know, it seems like this Man City side has stayed or not Man City side. This uh Chelsea side has stayed pretty uh I mean obviously there's like a couple changes in their lineup, but uh a lot of the players that are in their lineup have been there in the save for quite a while. It doesn't seem like they have made a ton of changes. The goalkeeper, he's been there since he left Ajax like early in the save. I mean, Mason Mount's still there. I mean, it's... That right there, I wish we would have known that you could have that we could have signed him for a free because I would have jumped on it. We would have never had a bounce around on goalkeep like we did. It is about time to make a change here, though. Christian getting it in. He has picked up his goal form of late, and I am happy about it. He he really struggled at the start of the season. He's kind of came into his own here of late. He puts us up three 0 at this point. We're gonna go ahead and make a change. I'm going to take Baja off. I know he's having a good game, but the lap's coming on for him. We want to make the change for Jan coming off. Masala's coming on. I think we need to get another midfield player because uh, if we do let uh, what's-his-face one Basaka go at right back midfield, I, I, I'd be a little bit worried because Masala will transition to that spot a lot more, and we're going to have to uh, – another injury, dang. 
I'm taking him off. I'm just taking him off completely. I'm not risking it. Can anybody play over there? You, can, you kinda can. We'll do that right there. But uh, yeah, we'll be needing to bring another midfield on because at that point we'll only have Garza, uh, Jan, and Bird. And I don't want I don't want to be really thin at midfield because we're we're struggling right now at midfield without without Berg being with Berg being hurt. We're happy with that result, but three 0 I was I am very shocked by that. It did. It was a great start for us. Uh, three weeks, one to two days. That injury is a little bit longer than what I want, but it's not it's not terrible. I am playing with a, our little bit of our slower paced tactic for this match, and that's that's mainly because I, I we can beat this team. But uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a tough match, and I don't want to go and expose ourselves with all, the all-out attack. So we're doing the, the little bit of a slower pace tactic. We're not going to be as pressing in this match. we got Camel and Gold, though, a back four of Lucas Morello, Tosin and Aaron Martin taking the place of Davies because he's not ready to play yet. Jan and Garza in the midfield. we got Christian on the right-hand side. Vlasic in the middle taking the place of Valdez. Left-hand side, we got Abraham up top. we got Baja. We are we're starting to get a little bit more healthy. As we mentioned in the last bit, Saar is coming back. Berg is back. Um, I mean, I know I know it's not a huge deal, but Sean Smith also coming back pretty soon. I had kind of forgot about him when we was talking about the midfield players. I'm I'm okay with him being a midfield option for us at this point. It kind of lets us bulk up in another area where we can get a bona fide, really good starting player. And I'm really looking at the left wing. Maybe I like Tammy Abraham, but he's definitely he's not. He's not great on the left hand side. He's done he's done a good job there. He has done a good job, but maybe if we can get get something really, really nice there, that would be that would be the ideal thing. I don't know if we're gonna if we're gonna what we're gonna do. I really don't. We could bulk up on youth prospects, kind of like we did with Sean Smith and uh Yasin. But uh I like this team. So I I mean that's the thing about it. Like I like this lineup right here. Maybe you take Vlasic out and obviously put Valdez in into that spot. But I do, I like this team. Maybe we could buy a striker that's like decent as a backup option for Baja. That would be nice. Like an English one. That way we could uh, stop blowing in the lap. You know, I actually have somebody we can build with. Uh, yeah, it's this a bunch of bunch of questions there. I didn't read any of them. So I was not doing it today. All right. As you can see, we're sitting... Top of the table right now, one point ahead of Real Madrid. We're three points ahead of Eartha and seven points ahead of Spartak Moscow. So uh, we're looking nice. Everything's everything's good, but I don't want to. I think we're good enough to play just like nice. Like like we're not having to over over press or anything like that because they're the much better side. I think we can compete with them just playing football. You know what I'm saying? So. So that's what we're we're going to try here. I am trying something a little bit different with this tactic than what I am with the pressing tactic. I mean, obviously, I am because it's it's a much different tactic. But uh, I'm playing a little bit more through the midfield because I feel like our midfield has some. Obviously, we've got really good midfield players, and uh, I want to see what it does with them doing that because Jan, as good as he is, seems like he always puts out like below average ratings like a player as good as him should be putting out a, a much better rating than what he has Tammy Abraham done a really nice job to win that ball Baja done a terrible pass right there that's going to lead to a goal Camel does a good job though says hey I'm back here don't worry about it man Lucas has picked up a little bit of a knock I'm gonna go ahead and take him off I probably should leave him on the pitch a little bit longer but I'm not risking it for the biscuit Masala is coming on I'm totally fine with this match being a draw, as I said. I, I don't have a problem with that. Us playing this just a real clean football tactic right now. Tosin up to Garza. Plays it back to Morello. Masala with it now. Christian. Okay, we're still going on the on the side. Jan with it now. Okay, we're we're trying to give it to Jan a little bit now, which is what I want. I want Jan to be be the guy. Okay, I'm not disappointed with this little this move we got going here. I want I really want to get these midfield players more involved because I feel like that's that's the strength. At the start when we kind of created this tactic, our strength was on the wings, 
He's surely off sides, ain't he? Okay. But uh, our strength was on the wings, you know, and now that the, the save has continued on, it's not so much that way anymore. It's our midfield. Our midfield is our strength. Even though they always kind of put out below average ratings, that they're really good players. We got lucky there. That was close. Closer than what I like. We haven't created many opportunities in this match. We've only had the one shot. Hopefully this is going to be one here for us. Jan playing it forward to Baja. Ooh, Baja's not having, not having the best of matches so far. Jan with it now. Back to Tosin. Aaron Martin with it now. Yeah, I haven't really looked at uh, players that we would want to bring in if we do want to do a striking option. Because the, the issue with it is, is I think we have a pretty good youth prospect as a backup striker. Uh, Squires is his last name. I can't remember what his first name is. But I can't remember like if he prefers actually playing on the right-hand side or up top. He's loaned out right now, too, I think. Okay, we're not we're not creating many opportunities this match, and, I, and obviously you want to win a match, but I, I'm I'm okay with it. But I feel like it's going to be one of those matches where uh, they sneak out a goal against. I feel like making a change, but we've already made one change, so I'm not going to. I had even thought about going with our back three that we have, but uh, I'm not going to change anything right now. Tosin does a nice job to clear that away. The tax still goes on, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, it could end. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be upset. Watch this. This is going to be one of those ma those those games where I, uh, I didn't play the win match. I played for the draw, and we end up losing because of it. Because there's going to be a run. I'm waiting for that run to happen. Oh, it almost happened right then. No, 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 really. Oh. That's nice. How about we put my mic actually in front of my... My mic's been over here like the entire time. Camel, you can bake the big bucks today. It's okay. Everything's fine. We're just going to change up the tactic a little bit now. Because, you know, I tried playing it safe. We unfortunately lose out on our top spot right now. We're sitting in second. I drop some encouragement and it stops the highlight. Nice. We are going to make a change on that right-hand side. I think Sar is going to come in after this. Aaron Martin with it now. Who's, who's voiced some concerns about his amount of playing time this season. And we told him, well, it would be better if you're just used as a, as a squad level player now. And he, and he accepted it. But I have had issues in the past where, where that does lead to a little bit more of an issue further down the road. Oh, I was playing really poor. Like really poor. He's coming off the pitch. Yasin coming on the left-hand side. We're making our three changes. Sar as well on that right-hand side. Um, I mean, we got to we got to get something going on the attack, y'all. I know we play we're, we've played balance, but that doesn't mean like just sit there and not do absolutely dick with it. We can't allow another goal here. We just can't allow it. We we allowed it. The team is going to break down at this point now. We're going to scream at them at this point. This is a poor. This was a poor performance by us. I thought we'd have done a little bit better. But, uh, I mean, you can't have your average rating be like a six. <laughs> Just not getting back. They're, they're, they're cutting us open like a butter knife now. Morello made a good tackle there. I'll give you that. All right, Cam, we, we kind of need to move. 
Sorry, plays this into Abraham. We're not getting a goal today. This is piss poor. I apologize for this one. This is this is absolutely embarrassing the way we played that second half. Far from pleased with that result. You can look down and uninspired, but I am furious with your performance. That that that's pathetic. It was an appalling final score. Uh, it's not going to knock us off course. We'll continue as planned, though. But that was, I agree, that was that was absolutely terrible. Well, a very disappointing result in that second matchup. Hopefully we can continue on course and move on to the knockout rounds. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.